Good morning everyone. I'm going to be doing another updated pregnancy video. Um, I am now 22 weeks. I'm six months pregnant. I'm almost done. It's going by so fast. My daughter just had her first birthday on the weekend. I can't believe she's won. She's officially walking now. It was a day before her birthday and she was like, I'm going to walk today. And she was just walking around. So yeah, so six months pregnant. I, I don't know where the time has gone. This has gone by so fast for me, which is awesome because I know my last two pregnancies seemed like they were taking forever. A few things that I need to update you on are I can definitely feel a lot of pressure on my bladder nowadays. Um, which are causing me to go to the bathroom more often. So that phase has definitely started. I haven't felt a ton of kicks. I know um, around this stage of pregnancy, women say that it's constant and it's right before bedtime and they always feel it and it hurts and you can like, everyone can feel it. But none of my babies and all my other pregnancies They've never, my babies have never been huge kickers. They will kick like my bladder or they'll kick back, but they never kick forward. So when anyone wants to put their hand on my stomach and feel, they can't ever really feel anything. And um, it kind of sucks because that's like the best part of being pregnant is when you can feel the baby kicking. But I never really get that. And it worries me because my babies aren't like super active and I don't know why because once they're born they are like they're always jumping around being crazy okay so the drama that's been happening with the last couple of days um, is that I haven't had any prenatal care since being pregnant and it's scary because I'm so far along and I still don't know where I'm gonna be delivering my baby um, my phone's ringing hold on that was my mom. <laughs> so, I still don't know where I'm going to be delivering my baby. Um, the place, the hospital that I've delivered my last two babies at um, won't take me because I'm too far along. They want to have their women in by 9 and 20 weeks and when I called to make my appointment, I was 21 weeks. So, that's a bummer. Um, it's a new rule that they've started recently and for whatever reason, they won't take me. I, I don't know the reasoning behind it, but they won't take me. So I was completely devastated about that. Um, so I called the hospital that is inner city and tried to get in with them. They told me they were completely booked for the month of July. They couldn't take me in. Um, it's like there's a baby boom or something. I don't know. Everyone's having a baby in July or this summer. So that's super unfortunate. Um, but the thing is, I didn't find out about my pregnancy until I was pretty far along. Um, I got pregnant after Kier was about five or six months old and it wasn't planned. Um, it was a huge surprise. So um, I really had no idea. And when I went to go make my first doctor's appointment, my doctor was away on holidays. And then when I finally got in to see her, I went to go book my ultrasound and they were super busy. So it took me like a month to get into that. And then once I made, after that appointment, then I went on holidays and the day I came back, or the day after I came back is when I made my appointment and was told that they wouldn't take me. So now here I am, um, 22 weeks and I still haven't really done anything. Um, it's scary because it's coming up so quickly and I'm, I think I'm being forced to go to a hospital where I don't really want to go. I've heard nothing but negative stories about it. Um, and it's super far from my house. It's about 45 to an hour drive from my house. It's not that it's a bad hospital, it's just the hospital where I usually deliver at. They are a lot more laid back. They don't have as many rules. Um, they allow your husband to spend the night with you. They allow you to have as many visitors as you want. I think last time I had about seven or eight friends and family coming in and out of my room all the time, like all hours of the day, um, and they were fine with that. I know when I was giving birth to Kiera, I had one of my closest friends in the delivery room with me. Um, 
she was there all the way up until active labor and it wasn't until I was like, okay, this baby's about to come, maybe you should leave. <laughs> but they were fine with that. The nurses didn't ask her to leave. They didn't care. They left it totally up to me, which is amazing because you want your birth to be the most like comfortable, relaxed, enjoyable experience considering how much pain you're going to be in. So yeah, that's what I'm used to. That's what I want. Um, but I am being forced to go to a hospital where they are very strict. They don't allow any visitors whatsoever. Your husband does not spend the night. You are all on your own, um, which is fine because this isn't my first time. I know what I'm doing. I don't really need Ben to be there with me. But you know, it's nice to have someone that you love with you helping you, you know? I have heard that recently this hospital um, has gotten a little bit better over the years. They're not as overcrowded because they've opened a new hospital in the area. So the doctors can be a little bit more attentive to you. Um, you do have to share a room, I believe, which isn't a huge issue with me. So it's not the end of the world. It all work out okay. I'm sure once I'm in labor, someone will take me. <laughs> But anyways, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning and hopefully my doctor will give me some good news and everything will work out. Kira's awake. Hold on one second. You wanna say hi, Kira? Wanna say hi? All right. I can't remember where I left off, so hopefully I don't end it abruptly and it turns out okay. But I will show you my bump now. What's the matter? Yeah, she's not gonna let me finish filming this anyway, so I better end it now. <laughs> so I'll just show you guys my bump real quickly. Can I do that? You're cute. Okay. All right. It's funny because sometimes my stomach is huge and then other days it, I hardly look pregnant, but during the mornings it's not as big as after throughout the day when I've eaten but that's it right now all right thanks so much for watching this video I'll hope to update you guys again in another couple weeks and I'll see you guys in my next one bye